the Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Man, when I get home from work, all Betty does is watch her reality TV and then she goes to sleep. I can take her on romantic dates, I get her flowers, you name it. She's just not the woman I married. Oh, Ralph, that's just awful. Does this seem familiar? Are the honeymoon days of your relationship long gone? If so, consider this. The abundance of chemical additives, pesticides, BPA containers, contaminated tap water, and other toxic substances found in our environment. Experts know our bodies are some and being thrown off balance, especially when it comes to your natural systems. Forget synthetic chemicals. Super Female Vitality brings forward key herbs specifically chosen for women's biology without the use of phony additives. Get your bottle of Super Female Vitality today at InfoWarsLife.com, InfoWarsStore.com, or call 1-888-253-3139. InfoWarsLife.com. Live life healthy. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. Most people know that iodine deficiency has been a crisis around the world. Iodine is key to so many of the body's functions, especially the thyroid. I discovered a product being developed by Dr. Group. You now know it as Survival Shield True Nascent Iodine that your body can really absorb. Then, about a year ago, he said, listen, if you think this is powerful, I'm going to come out with rare earth, deep earth crystals. And the results that I personally have had have been life-changing. Nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. This is innovating, and the best part is it helps fund InfoWars.com, the radio show, the TV show, the whole media operation promoting true libertarian ideas. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. Take advantage of this unprecedented 30% off Super Detox Special at InfoWarsLife.com. From the water table to our soils to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. The Alex Jones Show, because there is a war on for your mind. I remember when, I remember, I remember when I lost my mind. There was something so pleasant about that place. Welcome back to The Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, and I'm talking to Cheryl Chumley, author of the book Police State USA. How Orwell's Nightmare is Becoming Our Reality. And, of course, that's available at InfoWarsStore.com. And before I get back to Cheryl, I want to tell you that this hour of the Alex Jones Show is brought to you by My Patriot Supply. You know, the collapse of the border and soaring meat prices make it clear that there's no longer any time to wait. You need to start getting prepared today. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com and check out their complete line of preparedness products. My Patriot Supply is the home of the Patriot Pantry line of emergency food storage. If you don't have food, you are no threat to the new world order. They're counting on you to be ever-dependent slaves to their system of control, but you can fight back. You can establish independence for yourself and your family by securing your own private supply of storable food. And there's no better way to prepare than this Patriot-owned company. Alex has met with these guys and says they are the real deal. And I take Alex on his word because I know that Alex is the real deal. Visit MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex for some special offers to listeners of this live broadcast. For a limited time, they're offering additional discounts off their already low prices. That website again is MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex. Now, Cheryl, just before the break, we were talking about uh, the police state and, and what we can do to roll this back. And I, I think 
There's not an easy answer, is there? But you've got it on the back of your book. You say, our rights come from God and not from government. I think that's the key realization that people have to come to. That's exactly right. And to me, that's the biggest premise of my book. I don't beat people over the head with it. But, mm -hmm. you know, our nation was founded on that principle. That's what makes us the greatest nation in the world. Our rights come from God. They don't come from bureaucrats on Capitol Hill. And I think if people first off... Uh, you know, drilled that into their minds and, and, and into their hearts, then it would, it would just result in this dramatic mindset change that sweeps the nation and will put politicians back in their place, their rightful role as servants of the people, their employees. And that includes the president of the United States. That's right. You know, people are always looking for an easy fix, aren't they? They're always saying, well, you know, we need to uh, pass this kind of law or make this kind of change or get this person elected. And, you know, the, the, the elections are pretty heavily rigged and they're pretty dishonest and, and slippery. I mean, just look at the thing with Thad Cochran uh, yesterday. I mean, that, that doesn't do much to restore my faith in elections. But it's not that simple. There's not a simple fix of getting a person elected somewhere, there needs to be a fundamental understanding of people about the difference between rights and privileges, and also about, you know, their role in uh, the role of government. It's, it's just not an easy fix with an external thing. There has to be a massive understanding, a massive uh, point of view change of the American people. That's exactly true. And I think uh, that's why you also need to teach your kids the Constitution because yes. the school systems aren't doing it. At least that way, you know, when you read the Constitution, it takes, what, a half hour. Uh, at least if you're aware of what the Constitution states, you can watch the evening news, read the daily newspapers and see how far we've strayed. So at least you can know where the battle starts. So that's, that, right. that's a core that's a, that's a core provision if you're trying to fight to turn this country back. You know, we've got an article today on Infowars.com uh, about the overwhelming number of false matches that are going to be coming from an FBI biometric database we talked about earlier. Steve Watson article, and he quoted from a letter from the ACLU and the Electronic Frontier Foundation, and they said the capacity of the FBI to collect and retain information, even on innocent Americans, has grown exponentially. And this is the the part that I like right here. It said it's essential for the American public to have a complete picture. Of all the programs and authorities the FBI uses to track our daily lives and an understanding of how those programs affect our civil rights and civil liberties. And when I saw that, I bracketed that and I said, you know, that's what we're trying to do here at InfoWars. That's what I think your book is doing. We're trying to give people a complete picture of where we are, what we've lost, and the fundamental basis for what we had the government created for in the first place. And that is that we have certain inalienable rights that we possess uh, from God as human beings and that the government can't take those things away. That's right. They can't take them away unless we let the government take them away. Yes. And that's where we're fighting right now. And, you know, as, as things move farther left, as our next generation of children in public schools are taught that government is the solution to all, as our borders remain completely unsecured and we let people pour in this nation who have no concept of what a constitution republic is supposed to look like, you know, it won't be but a few years before the balance in this nation shifts. And, you know, making the case with political elections, it's going to be a, a lost cause. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you, you need to stop funding the main parties, teach the Constitution, and start some real grassroots swell to bring this nation back under control. And, and you know, it's not just the people who are coming into this country, the foreign uh, people that are being left in, young people who are 13, 14, 15 years old, coming in without any concept of God-given rights. It's our own Supreme Court justices and people like Hillary Clinton who don't have any concept of that or who know what it is and are trying to speak against it. As I pointed out before, Justice Scalia said, hey, you don't have any absolute protections under the uh, Fourth Amendment. If we did, then the TSA couldn't be doing what they're doing to you in the airport. So here's a guy who's supposedly a strict constitutionalist, somebody who's supposedly a conservative, essentially sounding the same as Hillary Clinton on the Second Amendment. And of course, when Hillary Clinton says that people who hold viewpoints that rights are absolute are terrorists, she's essentially coming after the First Amendment as well. Yeah, you know, your your quote that you just said about Scalia, if that's the best we got, then, you know, <laughs> really, we're in a lot of trouble. We're we, in we are. Trouble here. We are and in a lot of trouble. It's going to be a hard fight. 
That's right. Let's go to a couple of calls. We we, we open this up for uh, questions. Uh, Hunter in Arizona. Hunter. Hey, David. Great job today on the show. Thanks for taking my call. Thank you. What do you um, want to say? Uh, you have a question? Yeah, I just had a quick question. I'm going to throw it out there, and then I'll hang up and listen to your answer. Was Is the sheriff of Sacramento County now in violation of law based on the most recent Supreme Court decision? Thank you very much. What he's referring to is the uh, sheriff in Sacramento County uh, using uh, Stingray and other things. So, you know, now that we see that the Supreme Court says, hey, uh, your cell phone has got is a qualitative and quantitative difference from other things that we've allowed to be searched when the people are arrested. But that's got too much information on it. That needs to be included in Fourth Amendment protections. So how does the NSA uh, justify what they're doing? How do police departments that are tracking people with Stingray and other devices and, and uh, monitoring people in many different ways, how do they justify that? What do you think, uh, Cheryl? Is that going to create some kind of uh, an opening here for liberty? Well, I, you know, the federal government is pretty skilled at making the case that it's all in the name of security, that they need to do all this spy technology to secure Americans from future terrorist threats. Uh, you know, against that backdrop, though, you can look at all the information that they've uncovered and all the spying they've done in recent years. It, it's not aligned with terrorism. There have been Capitol Hill hearings to show that some of these data centers set up around America in the name of combating terrorism don't give any, uh, you know, worthwhile terrorist-related info at all. They've been uh, using them more to fight crimes. So, you know, if people would be more aware of that, that it's not a battle of terrorism anymore, it's more used to justify fighting crimes. Uh, maybe in a smaller communities, we'll have a better chance of fighting local government officials to scale back police departments. That's right. And of course, as we pointed out here, we, we covered the MIAC report release about the Fusion Center that said that the uh, people that the uh, police department need to be concerned about was were people who had voted for Ron Paul or uh, uh, some other third party candidates. Uh, if you see a uh, bumper sticker on the car, these candidates, those are the people you need to be worried about. And we've seen over and over again that they say they're not worried about Islamicists, but they're worried about uh, homegrown uh, domestic terrorists. People who believe that their rights come from God, that they do have absolute rights. And that's part of what makes what Hillary Clinton said uh, so chilling. Just just by itself, uh, if it wasn't in the context of these other remarks, you could say, well, you know, she's saying that they're scaring people. No, when she uses the word terrorizing, she's using that uh, to, to move that narrative along to say that people who believe that their rights come from God and not from government are terrorists. That's what we've seen in all these different scenarios. And I think that's clearly what she was saying. Let's go to uh, Susan in Missouri. Susan. Uh I wanted to thank you and Alex and Cheryl for everything you do. Oh, thank you and for listening. And how you're waking people up. And uh, right now, there's so much treasonous uh, information coming out with whistleblowers um, and exposure from people like you, thankfully. Um, but it's amazing to people that are aware of all this that there are others that are still walking around as if in some kind of zombie apocalypse. And, I mean, what, what do we do to wake these people up, or is there just no hope for these people? Cheryl, you want to take that? Yeah, I'm like you. I don't understand people when they think it's crazy to say that we're a police state in America right now, um, you know, or that the government encroaches too far. I don't understand the mentality. I think there's a certain segment of our nation that is going to be happy in ignorance. And, you know, all you can do is, you know, fight your own fight and, and pray to God that, you know, you make a difference in this nation. You know, I remember when the Boston bombing took place and they had the police going door to door, pulling guns on people and having them march out of their homes with their hands in the air. We reported on that. Dan Benandi was there. And I remember as that was going on, we had a guy who was uh, attacking Dan, attacking us, uh, ridiculing him. I remember Rob Dew going on and talking to this guy, and this guy just insisted that this wasn't happening. And I thought, that is the most amazing example. Here, as he's, as he's talking to Rob Dew, we're playing the video clips of exactly what we're talking about. And he said, that's not happening. We don't have a police state here. I mean, you talk about being an extreme case of denial. Uh, that was about as bad as, as I've ever seen. I was just like shaking my head in disbelief that somebody could be that ignorant, that much in denial, that much of a servant, uh, a servile slave to the government that they just couldn't believe that their government was capable of doing something like that. 
Yeah, you had Mark Binney, who worked for the NSA for over 40 years, resign a few years ago. Mm -hmm. And his big reason was he said, we are living in a police 